No, we're not. Yeah. No, we're not. We're not up on uh, on my screen yet. Oh. Well, it said we're live. Is anybody telling you that they can see you yet? Oh, Jackie sees us. Rob sees, well, Rob, you know where we live. Oh, there we are. Oh, you got us over there? Hey, you're gonna need that laptop too. There's no way, <laughs> no way I can keep up with it. Guys, what is okay. happening? You can have that. Yeah, it's cold out here. It is cold out here. We, uh, Grandma. Hey, we just saw you. Welcome back. <laughs> Did we say anything embarrassing before we realized we were on camera? I don't think so. I am, all things McKee. Very comfortable. Hey, did you figure out how to make it so the chat will be here when they go back and watch it later? I did. Boom. I had to get my laptop out for that. Because as you guys know, I uh, I tremendously struggled. Hey, you? who are these wild animals? Can you see them? No. Do you, you want a blanket? No, no. Thank you. Yep. Your blanket will you be over You know we're here. live, right? Like they can see you? Sorry. <laughs> hey, do you guys see the crit? Oh, look, look. See the animals down there? Looky there. Somebody's hiding behind my chair. I'm just prepared for whenever it gets cold, er, and I've got my blanket, my vest, all the things. Is this the first time we've sat down today since we started? Hi, buddy. Yeah. Oh, Look man. who it is. You're going to slime my blanket, Look aren't you? Look who it is. We got a couple of celebrities here. We, uh, you guys, if, for those of you that watch our videos regularly, you're, you're going to see some of this again tomorrow because all we've been able to do today is basically get ready to be out here both to stay, uh, get the dogs out, and basically just get the camper all ready. And you know, it's all, it's a small 300, 400 square foot area it's to live in. But not even man. 400 square feet. <laughs> yeah. And I kind of forgot how to duck head when I'm walking through the camper because I've been out at uh, mom and dad's and they've got, you know, Grandpa Adler size house, and so I've already knocked my noggin a few times, but we did. You know, we got a little. It should teach you to learn to duck again. I mean, you it hit your head time. so many times, you'll. Hey, you'll you know remember. what? I'm gonna take you to the the ball pin at like Discovery Zone. Is that place still exist anymore? I don't think so. I'll let you go play where it's for you know small <laughs> children, and you'll see. So I'll know how you feel. You'll see what life is like up here. I do feel bad for My you. head hurts all the time. I'm sure it does. You hit it a lot. I do. <laughs> but we did take, if you guys have an RV and you're, you know, I, I don't know how tall you got to be to be too tall for him. Know. But, you know, pay attention to those, those real pretty things that they put like the fabric around and then put over the door jams. Absolutely no sense at all. For no it to purpose be, whatsoever. It's, it's like an inch and a half below where it should be. And uh, I find it all the time. Do I, I need to be reading this. Oh, man. I'm, I'm kind of reading it. They're just all still saying hello, good evening. RDD's in here. Is he? Hey, in Ryan. Here. Holy cow. Hey, Chad. Hey, Grandma Grandpa. So that Ryan Doss fella up there underneath Grandpa's comment, um, that guy is a cousin brother. Is that, that's a good way to put it, right, Ryan? He's a cousin brother. Yeah. He grew up with, with Chad, Matt, and I very, very closely. He's... He's about, he's pretty much my age. He's old and he's going to get that joke and he can't defend himself right now. <laughs> he, <laughs> might, he might be, uh, might be about four months younger than me, but, uh, oh, I found a stick. he's a best friend. Yeah. Uh, forgive us in advance if we have to run off because the wild animals are having a heyday. In fact, we pulled up and right outside the gate was a big old doe and she was just hanging out. Well, Herc sees her from the back seat and he's like, Oh, that's mine. So then it's we'll like, I want to play. Yeah, he, he ran her off and she was gone and then we came back here and he's doing his rounds, went down and saw the goat pen and I see him just puff up and get his mohawk on and starts barking and pouncing and he scared three more deer back in the valley, uh, back on the back side of the property. It's it's so awesome out here. He just took Nala's stick, by the way. Cole's like, waving at us. mine. Hi, Cole. That's Ryan's, Ryan's baby boy. Aw. Um, somebody asked, did we have bad weather? We did get a lot of rain yesterday. A lot of rain. Which for us is good weather, other than the, you know, we can't do a whole can't lot. Can't get a lot done. When it's but... all muddy and nasty. Yeah. 
The dogs, I, I wish I can't, you know, we, we looked at the live from last time and we noticed, you know, if we're moving around, obviously we're on cell service out here. We don't have high speed internet. Uh, and so it was real blurry, real bad. And I know I'm 100% certain it will be worse because right now we've got very little daylight. It actually got darker sooner than I thought, um, but it's, it's beautiful. Grandpa said he doesn't know how he's gonna sleep tonight without Herc barking. We'll record it and send it to you. Yeah. I'm sure he'll be barking all night long. <laughs> yeah, I'll just call you and put my iPhone down in the goat pen and you, I'm sure you'll hear him. He's gonna have stuff to bark at all night. He's uh, he's on cloud nine out here, even Nala. Yeah. She followed me around on the four wheeler and she's gonna sleep good. Uh oh. We had somebody ask what kind of dogs we have. What kind of dogs? Hercules is 50% Anatolian Shepherd and 50% Great Pyrenees. And if you're familiar with Chad and Dad's channels, uh, Smokey, she is 100% Great Pyrenees as far as we know. And so Hercules and her actually look a lot alike. He's very colored like a Pyrenees, but he's built more like an Anatolian Shepherd. And if you guys follow Walker Farm fam, uh, Xena, their LGD, she is a sweetheart, but she's very good at her job. And she is actually his sister from another another litter litter they doggy litters that's what they are they're litters yeah, yeah. sorry i'm I, I i'm trying to go through the chat that. here yeah so roxana where are we going to keep herc he is going to sleep down in the goat pen tonight we have his house here uh grandpa got him on one of those little igloo houses and so he's going to sleep down there in that and kyle will probably check on him every 20 minutes i'm just going to stay down there with him Nala and I will be in the camper. Once Nala and Shannon Kyle fall and asleep, Herc. me and Herc are coming up. He made me bring my Xbox and, and Nintendo. Like, we're going to play tonight. He and I are going to have a slumber party. And then we're going to go bark at deer and coyotes and raccoons and possums. That sounds like you're going to have a great time. Yeah. Uh, we tell you guys more about this in the video that we'll publish tomorrow. But, Rob, I saw you. And I'm, I'm going to apologize in advance. We see you, at, not you, Rob, but we see this other person in all of our premieres, and you always ask about the dogs. I don't know how to say your name, but it's, is it Chow? 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 Chua? Chua? I don't know. Where are you at? C-H-O-U-A. But anyway, I, I apologize if I butchered that. I feel so bad. The goats. No, they're not here yet. Grandpa cried when I tried to take Mario and Luigi and I can't hurt his feelings that much. You know, the, the boys, grandpa's boys haven't had time to say goodbye. And of course, Fox, Batman and Peta are all good buddies. So uh, yeah, we've got to get, man, I can't, the chat just throws me off. So I know. that being said, we have some work to do. And I actually roped grandpa into coming out sometime next week, I think, maybe next week or the following. We haven't really- Oh, thank you. We will definitely get her a pup cup. Um, <sighs> Lucy. Nala's gonna be mad. Specialist for Lucy K. That's hilarious. That's enough for two two pup cups. We'll oh, take, perfect. We'll get a pup cup for both of them. Okay, yeah, they're over there trying to share a stick right now, and it's... it's uh, I mean, they're being good, but it's just not... Sharing is not going very well. Hey, I kind of want to move the camera and show do them it. and see how bad it is. Let's do it before it gets too dark. Yeah. Look at these wild animals. What are you guys Billy, doing? we are so excited to be out here, too. It's oh, super exciting. It. Yeah, I know it. I know it. Nala's over there working on a stick. It's been a minute since Nala's been out here. And uh, of course you guys saw when Herc was out here last. Are you telling him? Yeah, she's got to write the rules. Look at this setup, guys. I, I, I can't complain too much. And yes, that's college football. This is a perfect Saturday evening. The sun is just <laughs> Oh no, I knew it. Here. You better look for more goats. What a what? Um, somebody said, oh no, I knew it. You better look for more goats. I was actually worried about that. We got to get settled, these two settled first. Man, can you see, uh, we're extended family. Yes, Anna, y'all are definitely extended family here. And we can't appreciate you enough. So thank you very much. We are just blown away at how many of you have come out and have been looking forward to this and us too, obviously. I'm gonna stop making you throw up now. Yeah, we have to turn on the slow chat because you guys are chatters. So we have to slow it down so we can actually read it. <laughs> I would blame it on grandpa, but he can't type that fast. No. <laughs> um. Thanks, James. Yeah, this it's just, it's Sorry. so surreal out here that this is what we get to call home. Like, you know, for so long we, we've said, hey, let's go home. And that was grandma and grandpa's or mom and dad's. 
Or uh, the KOA campground. Or the KOA campground. Before that, it was our house in the city. Even though our hearts were not really there anymore, we were ready to be out here. So now, it feels so good to look at one another if we're out and about and say, hey, you ready to go home? And well, and it's really surreal here. because, you know, we have been out here working every night until dark, basically, or after dark. And so then we, we step outside and it's like you just kind of look around and take it in and it's quiet. You can see stars. You can hear all the little critters and everything. And that's just, that's our whole point. That's our whole reason for getting out here. We love it. Yeah, and we hated our neighbor we used to live by. No, we didn't. <laughs> Don't say that. I'm kidding. We loved all of our neighbors. Except for the one. We loved all of our neighbors. We loved all of our neighbors. I'm just kidding. If you guys are watching, Larry, watch yourself. <laughs> Larry's the sweetest man on the planet. So I'm just Where are making... the marshmallows? We should have got marshmallows. We didn't have enough time to think that far through. You know what? I had marshmallows at your parents' house and cho and the chocolate-filled ones. Don't you touch them, Dad. And crackers. Don't touch them. I could have brought all of that. I had all this stuff. You pack the snacks. It's Kyle's fault. <laughs> How did I know that was the next line to come out of your mouth? Because everything else is always my fault. Yeah. Man, we have been running around. I really thought we bought enough time, reached out to Chad, like, hey, man, when are you going to be premiering tonight? Wanted to not, you know, crisscross and all that stuff. But I don't care how much time you buy for this. Uh, we still have a ton to do. And, and the reality of it is... Don't, oh. I, I, I'm trying to interject oh. questions here. Oh yeah, let's do that. Let's pay you, attention to these. You guys yeah, are talking so much. You get so to fast. talking so much. Um, somebody asked what the weather is here. It's 54 <laughs> degrees currently. So it's a little bit chilly. Oh man. What, no, yeah, I know, Kathy. Hey, Kathy. I tried. Kathy's in here. I got a question for Kathy. If it's not Kathy, Kathy, we have another. If it's uh, not you, then we hope somebody tells us. Who done it? Can you guys see that? We're behind, aren't we? Yeah. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yeah. Tilt it, tilt the star down a little bit so they can see it. How am I doing? There you go. Who done this? Who done it? Are you in here? You know Is I Is it you, Kathy? I'm a massive Cowboys fan. This came in the mail, came to our P.O. box, I think about a week ago. Absolutely no return address, no note in there, nothing. But you guys know you hear me whine about how awesome the Cowboys are and how we're gonna win the Super Bowl this year. You know, nobody cares. Uh, whoever sent this, this thing is awesome. I love it. I might have to put it in one of those fancy trophy ball cases. Uh, I don't know, you know, I don't know. Thank you. Whoever you are. Who did, have you, you been watching? Uh, I got it? distracted. Was it Kathy? I'm still looking. <laughs> Adler Farms. What does your ball say? Are you, is it, you're, well, you're in, you're in Oklahoma. You gotta be careful how you word that. What's your ball say? You could, I'm gonna leave that right where it's at. We're gonna move on What logo that? is on your ball, Adler Farms? Sort Chiefs are going to the Super Bowl. We'll see. Uh, you know what? I wouldn't be upset LM, about it. I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm a secondary would, Chiefs fan just because I have to root for somebody that wins more often than the Cowboys, at least in this era. But at least Tony Romo is now talking in a microphone instead of throwing a ball. Don't know what I'm talking about. Somebody say Grandpa Adler take the marshmallows to them. It's past um, time for him to get out and about. It's too close to his bedtime. Grandpa, you got your Cheerios going? Whoa, there's an Eagles fan in here. Hey, we're going to... Karen, it was nice knowing you, Karen Custer, but... Oof. I'm just kidding. Actually, I'm happy for you. I do like Jalen, and uh, you guys are having a great year, and Carson Wentz never could pull it off. So, maybe this is your year. That's a football slam. For <laughs> she knows what I'm talking about. Sorry. I don't follow any of that. I know. I just want the Cowboys to do better. And I have a cool ball. I'm excited about it. Yeah, that's really cool. We were, sh we were shocked to get that. Yeah. Hey, by the way, what's the temperature? 50? 54. I don't think we've been much up over 60 today. And mm -mm. we have had you know the little oil heaters, which showed you guys two or three videos ago. And those things are awesome. We do have a couple of them now. But we're having to figure out, you know, we, we don't want to blow any breakers or do anything like that. So we're going to kind of ease into it to figure out the best way to heat it. And of course, we'll also bring in the propane. Uh, that way we're making sure we keep the underbelly and everything warm when we have it winterized. Which? That's a project coming up. Yeah. Um, now good. that we're here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the dogs so are doing awesome, we, They're doing Sorry, so good. They're just playing together and walking around, chewing on sticks and stuff. 
They're staying up here on the until, base too. Until Hurt gets too close to Nala. I'm um, so happy. So two projects coming up. One, obviously the goat shelter so that we can get Mari and Luigi out here. Big, huge project. And Kyle decided he's going to help me with that. What? Yep. So maybe it'll actually be square and not crooked and everything will line up because I obviously can't do that. And skirting the camper will be another one. Skirt, skirt. But the thing is, we're, this sounds terrible, but we haven't been in as big of a hurry to skirt the camper because in Missouri, where we live, you never know what's going to happen with the weather. Like it could be, I oh, think I this week gonna is going to be 70s and 80s. Yeah. So, I mean, we have and a little the bit of flex week, time. And following one day, it's just going to be 17 degrees for no reason. And then boom, fall's gone. I have this idea. Everything will be fine. <laughs> it's going to be okay. No, it'll be good. I, we're just, we're trying not to, uh, try not to ex extend our luck too far and then all of a sudden be out here doing it when it's Being freezing. 20 degrees. Yeah. I think last year we had a lot of projects. And last year we were still kind of getting the hang of shooting film, editing, publishing, you know, s squeezing in our schedule. But we could only do it on the weekends and everything. And so no matter what the weather was, we were out here and we were splitting wood and snow. We were oh, splitting it was wood so and cold. Ice. I think we both got frostbite on our it was so fingers cold. and toes one day. And we had, at the time, we had no refuge. You know, we had the truck. But even then, you'd fire it up and you'd wait, and fuel was not cheap last year either. And uh, so I'm very, very thankful. Like when we get Roxana, cold out here, Roxana we can go in asked, here and get warm. Sorry, there's gonna be a lot of interrupting today. Go ahead, interrupt me. What um, you got? She asked, "What was all that wood for?" Are you talking about the wood that we stacked four times because I kept making Kyle move it, or something else? Our and that's just firewood for us to have for later. Ooh, Nebraska's getting a chance snow. of snow. That is awesome. Hey, Johnny. Yeah, we are going to build a house eventually. Yeah, <laughs> so that question does come up a lot. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, for us, this was such a milestone. We never saw this happening. In fact, it's still a little surreal. I think it's going to be a little better when it's a like... A lot of bit. A lot of bit. When it's fully dark and we're sleeping again. You know, the last time we stayed in the camper, we were at the KOA. And it's just a little different, you know, we, we had a little bit of freedom out there based on where we were, but to be able to come out and immediately... Well, we couldn't even build fires start, out there, though. Couldn't build real fires. Look at us here building a real fire. Well, we kind of ran out of time. <laughs> and our, we'll our, be more prepared next time. I might have accidentally forgot to uh, take some wood out to keep it dry. But anyway, yeah, so this will be our first time to be back in the camper. And I think my favorite moment that I'm looking forward to is going to be opening my eyes, looking out the window and seeing our land. Who said what? She wasn't talking about that. She was talking about the wood that I stacked on the trailer today whenever I went to Lowe's. Ah, now she did have, I remember seeing Roxanne's comment. She had a pretty good guess, but it, none of you are even close to being right. I, I know it, it was a major tease, and I do want to do what most of you mentioned as far as a deck is concerned or some kind of ramp off of here, but that is not. I've actually seen Pinterest ideas for a deck that involved pallets and pallet wood, so that may happen still. But these were for something that I was going to have set up hey, tonight buddy. for lights, hanging hey, lights around here. <laughs> and it's going to be in the video tomorrow, but basically I it away? underestimated oh. what was needed. Yeah. And so that project did not get finished. Hey, Nancy. Washer and dryer. Chua, chua. Thanks, Bubba. Doing Wait, pretty well, man. Wait, washer, Shoot, and dryer. washer and dryer. Somebody else had commented about a washer and dryer out here, and I have kind of thought about that. Um, you know, right now, if Ryan, if he's still in here, uh, we might mooch off of Ryan and his wife and gives us an excuse to go see the kids and see them and, you know, be... Ashley cooks for us. Ashley cooks for us. Ryan and I play video games, hang out, do whatever if we need we to. We can also go to Grandma and Grandpa's, though. That's true. For but laundry. It's the uploading. But as far as laundry, it's it's... Something I will keep in mind, but we've got a lot of other things we've got to do first. So Johnny said, hey, Kyle, I need an update on the mattress for the camper. I'm a truck driver and trying, thinking of trying the company out. Yes. Uh, honestly, I have no previous knowledge of it other than we did a little bit of research one day. I reached out to a few of them. I watched some YouTube videos. The brand we got is Tocta, T-O-C-H-T-A. Um, fan fantastic I bed. love that bed. Our camper was so uncomfortable when it we first miserable. bought it because there was nowhere to go and relax and I'm way too big for these recliners. I can sit in them but they're not real comfortable and so when you went to the bed for refuge it was nothing. 
And so Tocta was fantastic because you could send them your custom dimensions. Um, I mean, literally, you could have cuts, turns, we could, nooks. Where the storage under the bed lifts up, you could put in a fold or whatever it's There's called. There's a seam. A seam yeah, in the bed. Yeah, and it split. Now, it's a little heavy to pick up because I did, I extended it, I want to say, I can't remember if it was two or four inches beyond the normal frame of the bed. And we took the closet doors off so that we had that extra space back. I just um, showed your mom that tonight when she came over. Yeah, but that's been a game changer. I mean a game changer. It's, it's hard enough for me to sleep in it's a queen super size comfy. bed. But because it's comfortable and because I just push Shannon out of bed, uh, I can I'll sleep. sleep in the recliner. Yeah, but now my head is up at the top and my feet are at least level with the bottom, kind of. They're not on the wall or the closet doors. Uh, so highly recommend it. I, I don't know what the prices are. I don't know any of that stuff, so I can't speak to that. And I would venture a guess Worth that it, though. the discount code is gone. No, it's still out there. Does it work? I tested it not too long ago. Okay, so go back to that video. Yeah, I gotta go check on the dogs. You might answer some more questions. I'll okay, right uh, Ryan, thank you. We will still continue to use you for laundry services. <laughs> hey, um, come on. We did get electric tape to put on our pipes out there, and we actually bought a heated hose for our fresh water line. So those are things that we haven't really talked much about, but. We have heated tape for our water line coming out of the ground, and we have a heated hose taking the water from that hydrant over to our camper. Come on. So I think after we skirt the camper, we just have to put all that heat tape on and probably do something just to insulate the sewer pipe just a little bit. But everybody is super concerned that we're leaving our black tank open all the time, yeah, and no I way. can assure you, we're not. No the only one that is here. open because of the way it got cut, <laughs> is the galley gray, which basically all that is is kitchen sink. That's it. So Yeah, Shannon cut off the trap door that stops the water from coming out of that. See, this so is now the problem have, with us doing projects separately. Now I have no way of closing the galley, so it's just going to be running. Because I could have been there to because say, Because Shannon uh, cut it off. All right, guys, it's been a good live. We'll see there. you in the next one. Have a good <laughs> evening. Love you all. Bye. <laughs> just kidding. It was my fault. I did. <gasps> Kathy sent you something else, too, and I'm not going to show you what it is. Oh, you have your phone. What? That was. Thank you very much, Kathy. I missed it. Oh, too bad. You're going to get another surprise. Yeah, Kathy, did you see the, the football? It's right here. Was that you? Yeah. Was it? Thank you so much. That's awesome. She also sent hats, but we haven't gotten them yet. Oh, she was. Man. She just asked if she get the hats too. I haven't seen him yet. We almost stopped by the PO box before we came back here, but we ran out of time like no other. In fact, we still have plenty to do, but that's fine. Thank you, Judy. We love this fire pit. Like even, even though we're out here and we can burn wood all the time whenever we want, it's nice to be able to just control this and turn it off whenever we want to go in. Well, and somebody doesn't like to smell like real fire. I don't mind it, but I also, I had a concussion when I was younger and messed up my smell, so I can't really smell all that well. Anyway, so maybe that's what it was for me, but... Uh, well, you know, now that I can't smell anything from COVID, I may not mind it so much. Boom. We're, We're going to have try real it out. fires again. Yep. That's fantastic. Yep. Are you going to pin under the camper for winter? Yeah. So that's the skirting that we're talking about, and we're going to use foam board. We're not going to do hay bales because we don't want any extra critters trying to make a bed. Yeah. So we're going to use foam board. Yeah, I feel like that's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Dad, I, you know, if I, as long as I can't smell me, that's, that's all that really matters, right? Check this out. <whistles> They're like, wait. Wait, are you blinding the people? I don't think so. You might be. You're not going to know for a couple seconds it's behind. Oh, look up. oh, no, you're blinding him. I'm sorry. Oh, that hurts. Oh, no. Oh, I'm man. I'm sorry. I just had to check on the pups. They'll understand. <laughs> and look, they're coming back over. Yeah, right now, come here, pups. it's way too dark for me to take the camera and show you. I'm sorry. Uh, come here. But come here. Nala and Hercules have been walking around together. Come on. Nala's carrying a stick. Herc's assisting her, and they're just exploring and doing great. Could you not? Uh-uh, uh-uh. Nala, uh-uh. That's not your pile to play with. Whatever. All of it. She did drop her stick, though. Seriously? Darlene, uh, hey. we're just, I just want to say this Here. in the live, and, and, you know, Chad came over to the house. It was me and Dad and Chad were sitting around chatting for a bit. And, uh, man, what happened to Fred, you know, it, it's sad, and I'm sorry. And I really, really hope that the family and everybody you guys 
you know, Chad and the boys and Ray, you guys are coping well with it. And, you know, I'm sure Chad will explain it to you because, yeah, there's people out there. But this kind of life, this kind of work, I mean, some of these things are uncontrollable. And some of these things, it's just, it's the nature of it. And it's, it's tough. And so, yeah, Chad, great job on all your efforts and what you did. And I know you put a lot of time and effort into it. Uh, but Fred is going to be missed. But you We know. were in tears with you. Oh yeah, yeah, that was a tough video to watch, and uh, but yeah, I, I appreciate all, again, he put a lot into it, so uh, it'll all be good, everything will be great, and... Uh, but we do feel for them. Yeah. I know it's hard. Very much so. Cable tie down for the trailer wind. Yeah, Kelly, you know, that's something, we've heard that a lot, um, and I haven't looked into it, but we do, especially where the camper is here, there's... There's only one spot on the land, maybe two if you go all the way back to the corner that are higher than where we are. However, because this is the only clear area, we can get some pretty good gusts through here. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, they're going more front to back than they are side to side, but for as permanent as we're going to have this thing sitting here, I wouldn't mind looking into tying it down. I'm down. Yeah. Yeah. So whoever that is, all you need to do is just schedule some time. You and Rob and Grandpa, come on down. We'll let you guys do it. We'll sit back and watch. <laughs> Yeah, we've heard hay bales are not good for extra critters, and didn't Dutch have a fire last year? Yeah, and again, forgive me if I say your name wrong, I see you in here a lot, but Linen, Linan, um, yes, I did see Chad's tractor. Yes, I will be slashing its tires or lighting it on fires. I mean, no, I will come ride it. No, I am so happy for him. Uh, I'm, I wouldn't say the word is jealous. I'm proud and now it just gives me something to shoot for i think I'm chad's so happy for him what, what is yours chad 46 or 7 horses so i'll begin to 49. maybe gotta, 50. gotta one up them just yeah a where, little bit. wherever chad's at even if i don't need it hey buddy come here look Aww. look who's here you have a buddy look who's here what a cuddler oh no somebody's jealous uh oh, uh -oh the princess all right is come here nala come over here i'll love you and pet you hey she's like oh. no not yeah. happening Chad, uh, <laughs> I don't. I think Grandma, Grandpa wants me to keep the tractor so he can go buy a bigger one, and uh, then I gotta, I gotta buy the smaller one, don't I? Thanks, Sherry. We are too. Linan. Say that. Linan. I'm, I'm so far lost. Well, I'm trying to work with her name and not butcher it because I have a tendency. Linan. Linan. I like it. Linan. Yeah, I love I love the tractor. In fact, I'm I, I saw what was it the reel uh, just a minute ago where he picked up a bale of hay and didn't even have a box. We had no counterweight on the back, and I don't know are your tires filled, Chad? I forget, uh, but that's impressive. That's a big tractor. I honestly don't know what I would do, but I would love to find out if I had a tractor that big. Your dad said, "LOL, yes, Kyle, do it." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wheel. Yeah, I mean, I'll tell you what's crazy. I'll sell you real cheap. <laughs> okay, Hercules looks ten times bigger. He is ten times bigger. Oh my goodness, yes. He's a monster. Yeah, he's as, he's as big as Nala now, just yeah. not as thick. Um, but his head is bigger, and I'm loosening his collar about every other day. And yeah, he's still growing. In he fact, to get him out here, he hates car rides because he remembers the first one. It was to the vet, and the vet stuck things in him in places that he was not happy about. Not good. And so he says, I don't want to go any car rides. So now when we try to get him on a car ride, he just goes dead. Just dead weight. He's dead like, weight. All lays right. down, and he's like, hey, He says, I'll go with me. you. <laughs> Look at his monster head, though. He has... Come here, buddy. Hurt. He has an adult head, but his body is still puppy. He's oh, still yeah. growing into it. Yeah. He's she chewing cute on? as could be, though. But don't throw anything at him. Just because he looks like an adult, do you think his, his he can't catch reaction it. time is good? It's not. Don't do it. If you throw something, he ain't going to fetch it. It's gone, which is fine. That's a stick. Well, I was making sure that's a piece that I cut, and I was making sure it didn't have any nails in it. Most everything shouldn't have nails up here, but there are a couple. So does that one have nails in it? No. Okay, good. We're good. We're good. Doesn't look like it's very much. Kind of fire pit. It, this is a propane fire pit. There's just a single 20-pound, uh, 20 20-gallon, 20 what are those things? 20-pound propane tank down below. Um, and it's fantastic. In fact, Ryan, <laughs> my cousin, he and his wife bought one of these first. We went over there, saw it, loved it, and totally copycatted and uh, couldn't be more pleased with it. This served a lot of nights out at the campground. 
it's we've used this so much we use it at the house the campground well yeah. yeah but i mean at the campground it's you know you want to burn fires but they're like no you gotta buy our wood and yeah that doesn't make sense we yeah. have 20 acres of it here we could have used yeah he's definitely growing oh yeah rob you know all about those slobbers he keeps them right there in his little uh, jowl chambers and then he waits till he sees grandpa and just slaps him right on his leg it's fantastic he is not a retriever. No, Teresa, not a retriever. He's 50-50 uh, Anatolian Shepherd and Great Pyrenees. Came from the Walker Farm fam. In fact, I think the Eddies have one. The Walkers did not keep one. I thought. I don't know who they all went to. I thought one other went. Oh, look. Somebody's oh. ready to go inside. The princess says, hey. Are you ready to go inside? I'm done here. Will you let her in since you're closer to her, please? Ooh, good call, JG. I forgot about that. You throw some copper in there, get a little green. Oh, buddy, you're staying out here with us. Nala's going to go in, okay? Good girl. Good girl. Yes, ma'am. All right, man, it's just you. Come cuddle in my lap. Come here. Well, come on. Yeah, I guess we could put hay bales under and then do the, the foam on the outside. I am just super worried about mice. I know it seems silly, but... I am. Janice, uh, we've had that exact TV comparison conversation, and I think Grandpa takes the cake. Chad, I don't know how big your TV is, but Grandpa, he went, he went out there. That, yeah, there, there's, there, and Grandma did not give the thumbs up on that. Yeah, he did it and asked for forgiveness. Thanks, Tina. Welcome. Glad you made it by. Hercules, stay close. Yeah, so the reality is starting to set in. Uh, by the way, Rob, or anybody else that has any experience with wells, I've got a little conundrum. Not a big deal, except the pressure tank down there, it's, pressure looks good, pressure valves on the filter look good and everything, but by the time it gets up here to the camper, I can get maybe 40, 45 PSI for a minute, but then you let the water run and she drops down to about 37 or eight. I know for a fact the pressure switch can only do 30 to 50 or 40 to 60. I don't really know what to do. So if you guys know anything about that, comment down below because we're going to bore everybody and Shannon's going to tell me to stop talking about it. But trying to figure Details. out how to get more pressure up here. I don't, and I'm not really sure what to do. What are you doing? Come on. Yeah, we're with you there, Roxanne. We've heard way too many, uh, warnings about that that's a good boy come on deborah we're loving it so far it's actually still boy. surreal it on, uh, it feels like we still have to leave at some point and go home or wherever that is but like we have sweatpants and house shoes and blankets and everything like we're ready we're ready to hang out here and shannon's probably gonna have to come wake me up from falling asleep out here in my chair and make me go inside or I i'll go do down that. and sleep with mr herc in the goat pen what do you think buddy He's yeah. just on the other side, just checking things out, like being alert, oh, he's being a guard dog. He's adorable when he goes off. He was chasing those deer earlier. And Look at your big head. Pressure before entering the camper is 38 to 41. Uh, and before I turn anything on the camper, it can sit at about 42 to 44. And then the moment I turn something oh, on or just so think about it, it drops back down. Clumsy. <laughs> Ryan, come on out, buddy. Uh, there's recliners and a couch. You're more than welcome to come hang out there. No, you can sleep in a tent. No, just was that, kidding. I think that was true of that. Yes, we're going to get chickens. A uh, couple reasons, few reasons. We had ticks so bad this year, so, so bad. I cannot tell you how many tick bites I got. I'm very, very, very thankful that uh, no illness or anything from it, but I can't be having that, fighting that with the, the dogs and goats and everybody and... Um, so I'm gonna get a bunch of chickens. I'm not gonna do, what are the guineas? I'm not gonna do guineas just yet. I'm gonna start with chickens. We need eggs. Yeah, I want eggs. It doesn't work for you. Um, it only works for the princess. Hercules wants eggs. I may have to go steal Hercules. some from grandpa every so often, depending on how many he can eat and how fast, but until we get our own chickens and we're producing our own eggs. Well, his oh, chickens aren't laying as eggs. many eggs right now. Did somebody say egg? Well, yeah, we're getting the He's like, seat. hey, my, Hi, my hangout buddy went inside. Look Could you big, let her back out? Look how big this head is. I got a big head. You wanna wear a hat? Ta-da! Show them! <laughs> You're so cute! You are silly. He's the sweetest. He's oh, did you just lick yourself and now you're licking my chin? I'm not the only one that doesn't like mice. 
uh, Maggie, get other the, people. the pressure, it's actually rated at 50 PSI. You can, run, you can run just a little over 50, but it's safe to stay at 50. I think it's half inch uh, PEX B in there. Therapy oil, yes, and that's not Roxanne. I can't have, I cannot have uh, Guinea stirring up my yard. Look, so sweet. Sister went inside and he's like, hey, I, I want attention. Here. I want to hang out. Who are you talking to? Can we cuddle? See, and I know a lot of you are concerned that he's not going to be a good livestock guardian dog, but this guy, I I'm mean, actually. He hears everything. Yeah, and he's just getting ready to work. It's a little after seven now. Usually we're taking a nap right now, getting ready about 8.30, 9 o'clock. We get our first barks around 9. And then they don't stop until Grandpa came and saw them. I did oh hear God. a couple of coyote, um, coyotes out here the other night. I was stepped outside. I was cleaning or something. And I stepped outside and was just kind of standing here looking around. And you could hear a couple of coyotes. We don't hear them here like we do out at Grandpa's place, though. Well, we're also not. I'm trying to think of the latest we've been here. It's not been past 10. Yeah, I, mean, I think we did last year, or during the warm season, we did for a little bit, but... Uh, Nothing like we've heard at your dad's, though. Yeah, so maybe we'll hear some while we're out here with you guys. That'd be awesome. Hey, yeah, Chad, I forgot you have master deck skills. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> we when you get have... done with Grandma's birthday party, then you can just come over and help us build a little. Yeah, and Ryan, if you find one of those heated tents, Chad's going to need four. And then he's not going to stay in any of them. He's going to kick us out of here. So if you want to come camp, come on out. <laughs> Grandpa will come camp. Yeah, Rob, I, I couldn't agree more. I was a little, the math doesn't line up. And it's a little frustrating, but, you know, we haven't showered or anything here yet. So <laughs> I won't complain about it too hard. But We may be late to church tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I may, be, I may be giving you a call and uh, talking through it a little bit. And I, I need, what I need to do is I need to get a pressure gauge at each of the faucets on the way up the hill and see what the one right outside the well house gets, the one right up here at the top of the hill, and then this one up here. And what I thought this may be, I bought a regulator, a little bit cheap, and I can't set it. It's just preset for 40 to 50 PSI. And so I think I might need to go check and take that out of the equation and see if that changes anything, get a better gauge, and then uh, we'll go from there. Yeah, I'll give you a shout, Rob. <laughs> I'm not sure where Herc went. I'm sure he's being good though. Daphne, I think Grandpa was glad to get us out of the house. Yeah, everybody needs to wish Grandma Adler Farms a happy birthday. Like, just blow her up down there. Comments, I mean, just, just fill up the chat for a minute. Yeah, Grandma just had a birthday, and she is now 23, I think. Didn't she turn 23? Maybe 24. Ooh, I'm going to let her assume 24. 23 or 24, but that, uh... Who told? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. Look at him lighting her up. I can, I can hear people singing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. And now I can hear Shannon singing happy birthday. That's not what anybody <laughs> wants to hear. That's fantastic. Oh, that's awesome. Good job, guys. You guys are awesome. You guys are the best. This just makes me happy. We love all of you guys. Man, you know what just dawned on me? Rob, Rob is, he's the 31st. You're the 31st. You and mom have birthdays real close to one another. Yeah. My mom's is next week. I think Rob just turned 26, hey, honey. didn't he? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Rob's only 26. Grandma, like, it's just, it's, it's, it's a good birthday time. Sugars. Yeah. Hey, Blissful. Thank you very much. We're super stoked. Very stoked. Uh, hey, I want to do something. Let's do a rapid fire. I'll read questions to Kyle. You ask Kyle questions. They have to be... Like questions that can be quick answers. Cause you guys don't know how much Kyle can talk. <laughs> so let's do like, just do some rapid fire questions for Kyle that you want to know. Herc, you gotta help me, bud. There's no rapid, rapid fire, man. Do I, have, do I have the right to opt out if I don't like the question? Sure. Oh, okay. Don't like that question. Storm shelter? Someday. Are these the rapid fires? Uh, if it's a question, so I just read it. Yeah, our land is, is, is pretty, pretty anti- it, it takes a minute, there's a delay, remember? Oh yeah. Is the propane, is that a propane fire pit? Oh, good. Quick, yes. The yes. Answer's yes. Propane fire pit. Yes. Favorite color? It's fantastic. Favorite color? Red. How tall are you? 6'4. What's your last name? Don't you guys all know our last name? It's not Smith. It's not Adler. It's Doss. Are you getting chickens? Yes. Chickens, yes. Does Herc try to escape the goat pen? Never. He's only been in it once. <laughs> 
but never. When are the goats coming? Do you like gloves? I do like gloves. What project are you most proud of? You can't put oh, your pot on be, top of the computer, the well. silly. It's, it's the well. <laughs> and all thanks to Rob and Ken and Dad, Aww. everybody that helped and was a part of it. Yeah, You're definitely. So sweet. Sorry, guys, I got distracted. Man, did you drop a bomb? He <laughs> totally <laughs> farted. <laughs> he, he did that over there earlier, and I thought, I, I was like, did I do something? It smells so bad. This guy rips them like, like the, with the best of them. And oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He stole this my This is your question. Keep going. Is Shannon always right? <laughs> Absolutely not. How fast can you talk? Oh man, I could make stuff up and fill. Yeah, you wouldn't even hear me breathing and just keep going. Are you using your new bow a lot? Uh, yeah, it's been. We've had. I've had to die down a little bit to get some of this big stuff done. But now that we're out here, it's going to be part of the morning ritual. <laughs> Goats are coming when they get car kids seats for the car. <laughs> yeah. Uh, goats are coming. We're still when, figuring that out. When Grandpa comes and helps me with my electric fence or Chad, if you want to come party. Oh, can you cook? Some things. I pretend like I can't, so I don't have to. What do you call a can opener that doesn't work? Junk. <laughs> I don't. I don't what do you know. Call a can opener? I don't understand. Well, I don't know. I, now you got to watch because I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight unless I. Okay. Know. Let's go back to can you cook. Carport for camper, Larry. Uh, someday would love to. Goats are not with us yet. We are Cheeto, absolutely part of Tornado Alley. Um, I'm not going to get into the details. And yes, a tornado can literally hit just about everywhere. But our land is very, very. It's got all these valleys in it, and so it's actually harder for them to touch down and stay down and all that. But that does not mean we are clear and safe. Nobody in this area is the clear and safe. So, um, no. yeah, either a crawl space in the future or just a dedicated storm shelter. Hey. Scared of the dark. You no, Joni. Let's find found your road. tape measure. Yes, I found mine and I hit it from Shannon. Who farted? Well, that would be Mr. Furball. What time would I gotta go get him a toy to play with. Is Ray in here? Did I say somebody to say hi to Ray? What date was the first time you met Shannon? It's so funny. He just climbed over that. Yeah, we'll keep up. Sorry, Grandma. Hey, Ray, if you're in here, I don't see you. Mel, I thought about that. I like the outdoor kitchen idea. Um, you know, that, that's a, the weird thing is, is like I'm so motivated to build all these little different structures and Come things, on. you know, put the washer and dryer over here, put a kitchen over there. I would love a full-size shower. Uh, don't even need a bathtub. Full-size shower and, and toilet would be great. And then when I get to thinking about it, I'm like, why would I build, you know, two, three, four, five, six, seven different buildings when we could just focus on building out a shop? Um, I just want to build out a shop. Yeah, we have, I'll tell you right now, we've got a storage on the other side of town that was closer to where we lived, and it is full. And it is treacherous. If, if Shannon and I say to each other, like, hey, we need Excuse to go to storage, you. it's like profanity or nails on a chalkboard, and it's terrible. Your um, ball needs to go somewhere else. Oh, don't steal my ball. No, Herc is going to steal your ball. Yeah. He's in the middle of everything. So, <laughs> hey, there we go. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Storage options are going to be number one, I think. This is the problem whenever you give a dog a bottle to <laughs> chew on. Yeah, Ray, there's no way you're getting in on Chad's phone. Yeah, got to get your own. Favorite football team? It's my Cowboys. Thanks, Kathy. Man, we need to go. I'm going to say it in the live so that they'll help hold us accountable. Now that we're out here, now that we've, we've made some headway on our projects and everything, I have got to get back out to Chad and Ray's. Why can't I go? Well, you weren't invited. Oh. Ray, can I come over? Oh, man. <laughs> Who is right? That's that one. Yeah, I, I definitely, and it's not just because Chad got the tractor. Oh, the answer to the joke, a can't opener. Sorry. Oh, man, that was a good one, too. I like that one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Kyle just wants to come hang out and play on Kyle or play on Chad's tractor. Liz, uh, storage building, we don't have to finish out like we would a house. You know, storage building is basically a glorified uh, garage, more or less. You know, if you've seen Grandpa Adler Farms, their garage, I love that garage. If we could have one at least four times bigger than that, then he would have to build a bigger one. I'd have to get a bigger TV. It's just the whole thing we do. But, uh, that, you know, we're not... I'll be honest, I like the camper life. I know it's too small for me. Your dad said I'm his favorite dad. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. Yeah. 
No, I do. I like the Camper Life. Um, a fifth wheel would be awesome. It's just as far as budget is concerned, they're in a whole different ballpark than your bumper pulls. So he's working. Our whole our whole goal is we have a house plan picked out, but we're kind of gradually getting to that point. So it'll probably be it'll probably be a shop first and then a house. And it's it's farm style house, so that's what we're shooting for. But you know, things always change and we change our minds often. I think back to whenever we first bought this property and all these ideas that we had like, oh my gosh, we're gonna do everything. Is my microphone on? Only hey, oh, um, we, <laughs> we had all these plans and as time goes on, things happen and you just kind of, as you get out here and you see how things are going, you kind of change your mind like, okay, well, that's not very realistic. Let's do this instead, or you know, whatever it is. So we'll get there. Um, let's see here. Good, I'm glad you can hear me. I was worried for a second. Yeah, it is very expensive to build right now, so we're just gonna save for a little while. Oh, somebody said, mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic, 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 Hump day. That's kind of my favorite one. I can't help it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if the trailer rocking, don't come knocking. That's why we have a gate. Yep, yep. What is? Mister, what's your <laughs> deal, honey? Are you bored? Do you How, need your did... sister out here to go exploring with you as I was going on? Could they hear me on your microphone? I did can... I have my microphone off? Oh no. You had your mic off. I could see it on the little receiver that there was only one. You guys didn't hear that, did you? I had to go check on Hercules. That's what I was doing. Thanks, Chad. <laughs> uh, we've checked on pods. Pod, man. They don't deliver to our area. And they're expensive. True, we have 20 acres out here. Hey, mister. Why don't I finish this and you can have Thanks, it? Thanks, Renee. Storage container, it would be very... Yeah, that's true. Yeah. No, I, we would love, we looked at pods that, you know, that pod brand or whatever, not an option. And then just buying a storage container. We have a couple of companies kind of on the other side of town, a little ways away, but they specialize in container sales and rentals and all that stuff. And none of it is honestly that feasible. Like it doesn't make as much sense. And I'd rather have a more square unit if I could. And since the price is very comparable to a full building, I would have to go with a full building. I could get some overhead storage in it too. So I, I just don't know if storage containers and pods are, are going. Thanks, Amelia. Upstairs apartment. Kelly, yes, I, I like that idea. That is a good idea. Like oh man. I can't believe that after I said, let's do a, what? Well, Bonnie just said I could borrow Chad's tractor. She gave me permission and I can give grandpa's back. Is that true, Chad? Yes, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Bonnie. I can't believe that after we did rapid fire questions for you, nobody said, okay, my turn. I got out of that. They know how long it takes you sometimes to think. Oh, I, I don't think rapid fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, blissful. Uh, jokingly, but seriously, I brought the grill. It's on the trailer over there. And I was going to do something like hot dogs or brats to see if I could not mess that up. I'm 100% sure I would have messed it up. So I opted not to grill this go around. If he's talking while he's driving, he's gonna miss his exit. Yeah, right past it. Yeah, I get that from Grandpa Adler. I absolutely get that from him. I, in fact, I was riding with you the other day, Dad, and uh, where were we? I don't remember what it was, but we were talking, and that's dangerous, and I was not trying to set you up, but boop, right past the turn. That's what we do. Thank you for asking me a question. <laughs> four letters on your name. Yeah, have you guys noticed that me and my brothers all only have four letters in our names, and our last name is four letters? Thank you, Mom and Dad. I appreciate that a lot. What's my favorite color? Man, honestly, it's probably gray or pink. I know that seems silly, but I love oh, gray. Oh, crud, I do still have Chad's generator. It's right there. It's right over there. We're keeping it safe for you. You can have it back, though. Later. We can bring it to you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, Vicki, we've looked at some of those buildings from Lowe's, Home Depot. You know, they're all, honestly, I think the storage container market kind of leveled out the shop and barn style. Ray asked a pricing. question. What did Ray Sorry. say? She said, your turn, Shannon. Are you cooking lunch tomorrow for grandma's birthday? Ooh, are you? Well, 
I, I didn't plan on it. I'm with Ray. <laughs> but normally I always make lasagna. I heard somebody make noise back there the other day. Okay. Normally I always make lasagna for Mother's Day. It's been a tradition since I came into this family. You're and right. I didn't do that this year. So maybe we can have a follow-up You stay in there. Uh, you lasagna stay meal. Be right back. Oh, guard dog on duty. Oh, they want us to be live from Adler Farms and KNS and Ray. And Ray. They we, want us all together. We could, but boy, that would be about a six hour long live and we would have to pass around like a talking stick. So whoever's holding the stick gets to talk. Like there's That's no, a good way to do that. I don't know. There's no way we could read comments and do it at the same time, but that would absolutely be a blast. In fact, that was one of the first times in a minute that Chad and Dad and I had an opportunity to sit on the front porch and just kind of chat. What was that, yesterday or the day before? Yeah. And, uh, man, we had a great time. I do like to cook, everybody. <laughs> Ray, Ray said, it's okay. My birthday's here in a couple of weeks. <laughs> but, yeah, we had a lot of fun. Uh, Chad and I just get to rip Dad apart, make fun of him. Dad tries to fire back. Chad and I team up on him. It's a fun game we play. Thanks, Dad. Grandma, you get to decide on Ooh, your birthday. We can't decide fiber. for you. They have fiber. They have fiber internet. Chad, Chad has fiber. He's got gotcha. a good point. We win because we had the. Kathy, mice. typically, if we're all together and we go places, we're liable to get kicked out, or mom disowns us and runs. And Shannon, about the same. She takes off her wedding ring and just sprints out the building like I don't know that guy. <laughs> Usually, <laughs> Leanne and I sit at the end of the table across from each other so that we can just like gradually move over to the next table next to us and pretend like we're not with them. Typically, by the time we leave a restaurant, we know the middle name, <laughs> social security, family member uh, names, home address of our server, because we all can't help but just, you know, shoot the bull and get to know her, and it's her hand. Somebody said, have Matt read the questions. That actually would be a really good idea. That would be funny. Matt's be like, funny. Matt does, he, he's the fun piece of the puzzle that just, he completes the whole circle. What's I have on? been fighting him. Hey, that's you, my, yep. that's my uh, propel, man. You just you fight for your own propel now because he's he's bored. I got his rope out of the out of the car, and he still is like, mm, give me something to do, guys. You took my playmate away. Yeah, I forgot we did we did film a little bit, and I might even be uh, in my glasses and pajamas uh, just out there drinking my coffee when we were hanging with Chad and Grandpa. Oof, that's embarrassing. <laughs> I'll don't teach care. you. <laughs> oh thanks janice we we had a good time i the, my favorite thing about being in video with dad i don't know if i can say it i can say we're it. live i can't edit I know. this out dad gets in a zone and he he's you know he he knows where he's going knows what he's saying whatever so does he i do the same thing but when i'm with dad he zones harder and so he doesn't hear my little, like if he says something, I'll make a little joke on the side. It's not till we go back and rewatch it or grandma edits it for us. And she just, she texts, she's like, I am laughing my tush off here at what you guys are doing. <laughs> and uh, man, it is too funny. Matt is cool. You need to work him in more. Yeah, that's probably going to be a struggle. Oh yeah, Rob got to meet Matt. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, grandpa. Yeah, I had Chad. To yeah. Kyle on his PJs. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank y'all were live. Hey, Evelyn. This is too fun, man. Next time we'll try to have a real fire instead of our um, f our propane fire pit. Oh, for sure. Yeah, all of our stuff, it got wet yesterday. And we have that, uh, man, we made that awesome firewood rack over there. And so I think I have it about half full and all of that seasoned at least 10 or 11 months. You're about to lose your football. Mister? So yeah, we have firewood. It's just, bored. it's wet right now, so. Uh, yeah, Grandpa, I'm focused. Yes. That was not on video when Rob got to meet Matt. It wasn't on video, no. It was, uh, that was a special, Rob earned that one, man. He, I tell you what, <laughs> we got water flowing, and I'm a, a happy, happy man because of it, and... Uh, so am I. I'm not a happy man, you're but a happy man? I'm happy about it. We need to talk. Hey. No, I didn't know. <laughs> you didn't know. Is a real fire warmer than the fire pit? Mel, great question. Uh, I would say yes. It gives more of a proximity, like its proximity carries a little further. And no, uh, uh, uh. the fire pit is at least contained, you know, right where the heat is and you know, whatever part you need warmed up, you just put it in the fire. Whereas obviously you're 
real fire, you got to be concerned with wind and whatnot. But uh, it's pretty warm. Ooh, Ray, totally down. Bonfire. What? She said bonfire at my place. Deal. I'll remember the s'mores. Oh, Angela, Herc is patrolling the property while we're on live with you guys. Just He's a walking ago. circles. Yeah, I mean, he is on cloud nine. He just came around the backside of the camper with this slow kind of Simba walk, you know. He's like, hey, what's going on? I was like, whoa. Then he stole my football. And he so, tried yeah. to chew on my blanket. He's bored. Yeah. <laughs> Bonnie. If Herc sleeps inside tonight, that means I am outside tonight. Herc is not sleeping inside. Is that animal cruelty? You should take that as a compliment that I want you inside with me instead of him. Okay, I will take that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little chilly out here. Yeah. He can handle it way better than we can. That is true. He is totally fine just checking things out. S'more recipe. Yeah, what? Johnny, no joke. I What's mean, the question? he came out working and look, what are you doing, bud? Are we safe? How are we doing? How's Don't it? Don't get your nose too close. Is that fire pit? Are we safe from the fire pit? That's a good boy. Am I blocking your, your walkway here? Yeah, I really, as, as soon as we get, uh, yeah, Nancy, no joke. I feel like your chat is different than mine. Maybe you're ahead of me. I have special premiere chat. Oh. No, I really don't. It's actually oh. the same thing. Herc does have a heavy fur coat. <laughs> I just now saw Nancy's chat. I feel the same way. Wait, what did we miss? What did we miss, Grandma? I missed it. Grandpa. No. Okay. Grandma? Huh? I missed it. Are your goats there with you? No, not yet. Yeah, Rebecca, he's he's good at sleeping in the cold. Goats aren't here yet. I really want them here, but I want to make sure that we get everything they need. I don't want to, you know, encourage them to try to find a way out or something yet. Here's the deal, though. Now that Kyle is done with the well house and well, the project. Well, the well, the well. Okay, the well. Done with the projects that were required to get us out here, he has volunteered to help me with the goat shelter. I have to keep him in check because there's going to be things that I just want to do, whether it's right or wrong. <laughs> but... <laughs> He says he'll help, so we'll see how this What goes. did we learn about the awesome shoe shack? Which, that's not sarcasm. It is an awesome shoe shack. However, what did we learn about the shoe shack? Well, we learned a couple of things. What did we learn about the shoe shack? Measurements are important. Very. Things really do have to be level. From when? The beginning. Which is? The frame. The ground up. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon did awesome on the shoe shack, and I'm not kidding. We literally had boots and stuff out here yesterday when it got rained on, and very, very little water they got dry. to them. They stayed dry, uh, but she she learned that you know if you don't start level and everything right at the ground, by the time Things you get don't to the line top, up all the way, woo, then I get to laugh at her, and she has to let me. It's fun. That's a learning process. I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna know until I do it. You check yeah. chat. I'm gonna check on the dog. Okay. Come here, bud. Come here. This way. How Thank you, guys. We are very happy to be out here at Shady Acres. How does the flashlight keep disappearing? Um, Herc knocked it off, actually. He's barking at something down there. Shoot. I don't know what happened to the flashlight. Did he carry it off? I don't know. Oh. Nala's barking from inside now. What are you doing, bud? I know it, man. There's critters everywhere out there, isn't there? I'll take my flamethrower to Chad and Race. I have no problem with that. Come on, bud. Good boy. You're fine, Nala. Okay, so here's part of the problem, guys. I started building this shoe rack on not level ground. That doesn't help. Yep, you're exactly right. Look, everybody's cutting me some slack because it was my first do it myself Wait project. Wait a minute. Yep. Are you serious? They're That's cutting the temperature slack? right now. The temperature is. Man, I'll tell you what. 52. Can we, uh. Can we talk? We can't do that. No. What? Nothing. We had. No. Yeah. Don't forget to turn your clocks back. I forgot it is uh, daylight savings. All of our clocks turn automatically. 
Yes, Angela. I, the raccoons, we, we have some big ones out here. <laughs> oh, Rob. A tool shed's coming soon, by the way. I'm never going to grill chicken on camera again. Until next time. Although, I will say, Kyle's actually really good at grilling if you can keep him focused. Yeah, just don't, don't put a camera in front of me. Don't ask me questions. Don't talk to me. Don't take my watch away from me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't even have anything to say. Just, yeah. Yeah. I did, Kathy. Uh-oh, is Chad talking smack? Uh-oh. Is Grandpa getting Cheerios? Yep. Oh, thank you for the reminder about the time. <laughs> <laughs> did, I, did I leave my microphone on again? Ah, uh, there's no telling. And blissful, thank you. I do appreciate that. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, man, Chad, I remember your raccoon battles. Holy cow. Those were like, what, two years worth? At yeah. least. I'm sorry, David, you're right. There he is. David makes a good point. I we, didn't see it. What was we it? We are very grateful for your shoe shack. And I apologize for making fun of it. I love it. I really do. Okay. I think it's awesome. Here's the thing. You I guys have I really to do. know. I really do. Kyle is very, very supportive in everything that I do and very encouraging. Don't we just like to give each other a that. hard time. I don't want them to think you're mean to me. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah. He, I mean, he's actually very encouraging, very supportive. It's all good. You can do it the second time. And then whenever I say, hey, I can't get this to line up right, <laughs> He explains to me why I can't get it to line up right, so I know what to do next time. With a smile. Maybe. Yes. Most of the time a smile. Because you're laughing on the inside thinking, wow, that was really dumb. <laughs> <laughs> no. How many shoe shacks have you built in your day? One. Boom. And it is by far the best one you've built. Absolutely. I love it. I really do. And here's the, the great thing, and I think she kind of, you know, is taken after my mom in this regard. You know, when mom... Her and dad built their house. She was like, oh, yeah, you know, Ralph, <laughs> Ralph, it's fun to call him that. Ralph is a tall guy. He's a big guy. Shannon built a shoe shack for size 14 Ray, you boots. said that, not me. Tall boots. Sorry. What? Is Ray talking smack? Not on you. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to leave that right where it is. Me too. Sorry, anyway, shoe shack? So, yeah, the shoe shack is built for size 14 boots, which is fantastic. Oh, my gosh. She actually measure, measured the height of my tallest, uh, the boots that I wear if I'm afraid I'm going to get in snakes and stuff. And she made sure to have room for that. And I'm very, very happy with it. Also, Rob nailed it. The tape measure wars uh, are real. Yeah. I think some of my favorite moments, like when Rob came down, <laughs> each time we've interacted with you, Rob, he's always like, wait a minute. So you really do act like that when there's wasps around. <laughs> oh, you guys really do have this thing about your tape measures. Uh -huh. and yeah, it's real. Like, it, Kyle it's, hides mine. He just takes it and hides it. I don't hide it. I just put it seven and a half feet up in the air somewhere. And he it, borrows it and doesn't return it. She can't find it. Yeah. A Daz, no, Chad is not the middle child. I'm the middle child. Chad is the oldest. I need everybody to remember that. Love you, Chad. What? I just went I'm sure he appreciates that. Well. He'll still say you have more grays in your beard than him. That is also true. <laughs> yeah, I had somebody on Facebook, man. We had somebody just being a troll. I don't know. I mean, there's no other way to say it. There's, there are a lot of them. There were quite a there's Facebook. Oof. It's a different animal. You guys are so much sweeter over here on YouTube. <laughs> Can I you say that? You better be careful. I love we're going to go live on well, Facebook. I love, and it could be some of the same I people. love the nice people on Facebook. I'm just saying, if somebody's going to come out of the cracks and say some things, like just really try to what, and troll you. It is Facebook. It's on That's Facebook. True. On, I mean, there's some on YouTube. And it ain't like Facebook. But yeah, what were they getting at me for? I don't remember what it was now. Oh, you threw me off. <laughs> It's always my fault. Man, I pulled a Grandpa Adler farm. I have oh, nothing squirrel. for the rest of that story. Squirrel. Something I don't even about, know what we were talking about now. No, oh, it was the people not being nice to me over there on Facebook, which I deserve it. I totally deserve it. But uh, Facebook Chad, yeah. Chad, no. Chad yeah, actually, yeah. Chad and Gary and Cassie, when we went and picked up Herc, uh, we were talking to them for a couple hours. We had a great conversation. and. Cassie, you know, we were trying to get some pointers on how to do this and that and ways to work Facebook and blah, blah, blah. And she said, man, I just, I got to give you a heads up. Facebook's a different animal. Yeah. And that's about the best way you can put it. It's just, it's a different animal over there. And uh, you guys are, are fantastic on here. Mm. 
Man, yeah, you Joyce, guys are so awesome. I, I have seen some of that stuff. Channels. Yeah, Amelia. I know it's sad. It's actually so, sad. But here, remember last time we went live and we were like, okay, when you answer questions, you either have to read the answer or you have to read the question or people aren't going to know what you're talking about. Yes. You, you still have to do that. Man, Herc's over there working. Yeah, he is. Yeah, Chad, that is the weird thing. It's like YouTubers, I mean, you can make your handle whatever you want, but these people on Facebook, like, <laughs> you know, everything they're willing to put on Facebook, it's out there. Okay, I have to say, I have to add in to here. Somebody said, I bet Chad gives the best hugs, says me. The Dosses just give good hugs. It has to do with them being so big, and so every time you get a hug, it's like a bear hug. All the Dosses are that way. They all give great hugs. Well, and it's because mom, you know, she didn't quite grow up to 6'4", like we all thought she was going to, so we had to learn how to get down in that pocket. Hugs are important. Did the book rack work out? Matt does not have a channel, Cindy, but we have been trying and trying to get him to do something. Is there something over there? Are you trying to tell us? I I'm feel like we could uh, just go talking to sleep. Do I talk in my sleep? Uh, you make sounds. Whoa. All she was asking is if I talk in my sleep. No. We don't want to hear about the sounds. Sleep. Hey, don't forget your mic's on. I went over there earlier and uh, forgot that I'll try to be my quiet. mic was on. And then, I, you know, Chad called me out. What do you see? Huggers. Hmm? <laughs> being a good boy. Yeah, being a good boy. Yeah, Curly Top. He, I tell you what, I, I just, I can't get enough time with him. I think we should, Chad. I really do, because I Matt, when he came out, man, he came out to uh, Dad's. I can't remember. It was one of the days. Oh, Adler was over there, and Adler was hanging out with Grandpa, and it was coming up time to feed the animals. And I said, "Hey, I said, why don't you hang out in here with Grandma and Adler, and I'll just I'll go out and feed the goats, and I'll take Matt with me." Matt happened to be there too, and I took Matt out there, and the guy this? would not even go in the goat pen. I know I can Which say this because he's not going to go back to see this, but. He was terrified. Batman snuck up behind me. He's like, bro, hey, hey, you know the big one's behind you. <laughs> I was like, I know, man. Hey, I understand that because I was scared of the goats whenever we first started going over there, too. Yeah. Now, I, you know, he has no experience. I had no experience. I just knew that if Dad was willing to do it, I could do it. We could do it. And Chad led the way. So, yeah, Matt, uh, Matt's hilarious, man. That, he is so funny. Sense of humor get us in trouble. All the Dosses are funny. <laughs> Mel, that's no joke. That was on my list. I, I forget if I told you guys that, but yeah. I need to be able to pee anywhere, light fires anytime, and fire other things Shoot anytime. Things. Yep. I, that's that 20 acres was about that and being able to sit out here and not see our neighbors and all that good stuff. My thing was I missed having trees. We didn't have trees in town and I missed being able to see the stars. <laughs> you come out here and it's just beautiful. RDD says he would pay money to see Matt come in one of our videos. Oh Ryan, my you, gosh. You need to come over there too. Shoot, man. We could get all of us in there. It'd be a good time. We'll make it a family of it. Blooming or anybody else joining late? No, the goats are not out here just yet. We've got a little more work to do. I'm recruiting help from Grandpa so that he can help me be a little less perfectionist and get the stuff up and get them enclosed. My hands are freezing, guys. You do, Joyce. That's, uh, that is a brother cousin. Dad, Grandpa Adler, his older brother, that's right, you're welcome, is, is Ryan's father. So he's our cousin that we grew up with just like another brother, basically a, a fourth, fourth brother. In fact, if you've been with us for a while, there's been, what is it, Ryan, two videos, two or three that we had Aiden in. We had him in, he came out, got to be in the skid steer. Mm -hmm. And then he, he came, came out, out. played in the snow too. Played in, oh, he did play in the snow. Him and then Cole. didn't they come out, the excavator? Yes. So they've been in three videos or maybe two videos and some Facebook posts, but that's Ryan's, those are Ryan's sons. That's, that's my, those are my cousin nephews. Yes. We are Aunt Shannon and Uncle Kyle to everybody. Yeah. Sick on Kali. <laughs> What? I think we'd get canceled. Is that a thing? What? We'd, we'd get what? a sitcom. If we had a sitcom with the Dawes family, everybody. You gotta, you gotta read the questions, babe. I don't know what no, you're talking I, about. No, I got my own conversation going on over here. You can have yours over there. Just kidding. Aiden. Yes, Joyce. Yep, that's Aiden. Aiden's the older boy. He was a little shy on the camera, but absolutely adorable. 
blooming. Is Matt married? Grandpa, you get that one. Ray, I asked for a heated blanket for Christmas, FYI. <laughs> Where is Hurt going to sleep? Good question. Hurt in his house. Is going to sleep in his house down in the goat pen. And we have those huge pallet toppers, I think is what they called them. And they're, I forget what they were. We measured them like 12 by. I say they're like 12 feet long. 12 by 8. And there's like three or four of them in there. Mm -hmm. He's got the pallets in there. So we're going to take the house down. Uh, I'm going to check on them. We got gates. And what I may do, we do have an additional camera out here that I could set up and just kind of keep an eye on him and make sure he's not trying to dig out or anything like Are that. Are you going to set that up tonight? I might. We're out here full time. How I'm not gonna long have I been asking I'm you not to gonna set sleep that tonight. camera There's up. no way I'm sleeping tonight. I'm be and laying in bed. And now all of a sudden like, that Herc gets here, you're like, I'm gonna light a, the camera up I'm gonna light you. a fire at 2 a.m. I'm gonna make some <laughs> coffee, not decaf, <laughs> at 3.30. I'm gonna call dad. Call your dad. I'm gonna call rich. dad. Let's drink coffee together <laughs> tomorrow morning. You, you two can FaceTime. You stay at home. I'll be here. We'll talk smack <laughs> on Shannon. <laughs> I'll be sleeping. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. I don't blame you on that one, Ray. I couldn't sleep if it's 60 degrees either. And yes, uh, Gmail Cook, I am afraid that it's going to be hard to take the goats away from Dad, but I think I think he'll let them go because he wants to see Batman, Fox, and Peter get back into their rhythm without two additional personalities in there because they, our boys have definitely brought out some traits <laughs> in those three and vice versa. I think our boys have learned some bad habits from some of them. Good habits, you mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Grandpa says he'll be up at 2 a.m. Uh, 2? We're not... Oh, yeah, it's because we're not there anymore. He can get up whenever he wants. He's not worried about... That's funny. We are going to put some lights out here. We just are kind of still mapping out where all we want them. So we will get some lights. Kathy, that is... Yes, Blumen, <laughs> you are exactly right. Kyle will be up all night checking on them. Ryan, you're not wrong. Ryan has done that. And yes, Kathy, um, some of the... <laughs> oh, I can't. <laughs> Ryan, I can't believe you said that. <laughs> <laughs> he really did, though, man. He, he, he... But yeah, Grandma, uh... poor Grandma, there have been some epic, epic moments in public that I even have to get permission from uh, one or two of my brothers and a dad uh, to tell but there have been some epic moments that I really thought my mom was going to leave our family. I thought she was just like, I'm ashamed of them. I don't claim them. I cannot believe I went out in public with them. And I'll be honest, as an adult now, looking back, I can't believe she stuck it out. Love you, mom. Thank you. <laughs> it was, it was Curly weird. top. No, no. Kyle doesn't have a short thought. A what? What? No, I don't. Well, they don't want to sit here. I mean, what if I, okay, let's play the quiet game. What's the next project since you guys are on the property now? Goat shelter. I'll answer the questions. Kyle's, Kyle's done talking. Red <laughs> Wait, no. Grandpa <laughs> said red lobster. Grandpa said red lobster. <laughs> Uh-oh, Grandma. Yep. Red lobster was one of those moments. Yeah. There it is. That is too funny. I've heard that story so many times. I hope times. they're sitting there talking about it right now. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> um who who have D, dgr for freedom that's our normal life like our laughing and banter and stuff like that like it's not just for videos that's just how we are with each other all the time some people have said like kyle's too mean to me or we pick on each other too much or whatever but you have to have fun I who mean, said that one of i read a comment that said that who said that clearly i didn't pay attention because i didn't well, i'm gonna be mean to them it. instead of you <laughs> Okay. Okay. That's just our normal banter. Duck. Is Duck in here? Duck, did you change your picture? I think you did. I feel like I you did. I don't think so. I think that's the same one. Maybe I'm crazy. Tool shed. Chew it. Chew it. Chew it. Man, chew it. Could you? I don't. I don't type how to sound yeah, your name. Yeah, you guys. Or... You knew that wasn't gonna last long. Kyle's not talking. Oh, I already lost. Yeah, quiet game's over. Oh, remember the... And I'm not um, even saying, Wait, wait, wait. I, I've seen Chew it ask this six times. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I'm trying to have a short thought and get right to it. Tool shed. We need that so bad. In fact, I can't show you right now because it's dark over there, but around the front of the camper, we have, we brought our miter saw out. I've got my tool chest that used to be in my garage. We've got the vise. We've got all of our tools and everything. And grandpa was nice enough to send me with one of his big tarps 
all of it's under a tarp. We got to put the four wheeler under a tarp. Like it's just, it's so soon is what he's saying. Oh, you know, yeah, we got soon. Stuff, a tool shed will be soon. Stuff under the camper that can't be there when we go to skirt it. Like I got to yeah. take it out, but our storage is pretty much full. Like we just, I don't know. You know what? Now that we're that's at, not yours. Now that we're out of Grandma and Grandpa's, maybe we just take it back there. Thanks, Grandpa. Hi, buddy. Hi. Yeah, you're so sweet. Oh, thank you. Oh, nice, Chuck. Sorry, I thought it was a new picture. <sighs> um, yeah, Grandma, I didn't see that question, but I assume somebody asked why KNS get out, and that is, it is, we got out of our corporate jobs, we got out of the corporate life, the, the, the script. The hustle and bustle of living in the city. Well, and, and the script that we grew up, you know, being, being told was like, it had to go this way. You got to live in the city. You got to get these jobs. You got to do this until Take it's time to retire. And right now, you know, there was, there was no joy. There was no, it wasn't rewarding. And you didn't, any, no longer could you bring joy to others. No longer could, it, was it beneficial to us? Like we, we didn't get to deal with the public and customers. It was more management. I still like dealt with cus public and customers, but in a managerial way. Yeah. You did too, but. It and just so wasn't we, what we wanted anymore. No, and we had been shopping land for a long time, and so we decided it was finally years. time to get out. And, years. You know, Chad and Dad, you, they were huge encouragement. Mom, I mean, the whole lifestyle that they were living, and when we got together with them, they just looked so much more at peace and, you know, full of joy and contentment. And so we thought, hey, we'll, we'll try our hand at it. How's it going? I just saw... So Grandpa said, my head hurts from reading so much, and Ray's like, I agree, Grandpa, I can't keep up with y'all. It's hard for us, too, you guys, and I have it on slow mode. It ain't hard for me. All I gotta do is go faster. My mind doesn't work as fast as yours does. <laughs> yours is better. <laughs> Thank you, Nancy. They are actually having a wonderful time. Nala's barking from inside the camper. Hercules is doing perimeter checks out here, and then he just comes and checks in every so often, and his rope toy's over here, grabs it, takes off again. Yeah, we could probably let Nala out. She may be ready to come out again. KNS are in. Yeah, I, you know, we struggle with that. Like, I don't know, you know, a channel name change is kind of a big deal. Mm -hmm. And, uh, like people told us after we named the land Shady Acres, um, you know, to change our channel to that and stuff. But, but then other people said, oh, it's a retirement home name. <laughs> <laughs> They're not wrong. I mean, it, it I, it's a great is. name for a retirement home. You yeah. Know? But uh, we have very shaded acres out here. But so it's not it's just fitting. about getting out of the city in our corporate jobs. Like we want to get out and travel and see the world and yeah. see all of God's creation. So yeah. there, there's more to that get out. Yeah. And I want a fifth wheel one day. And then we'll get out and go travel. There are so many states I have not seen here in the U.S. that I would love to just go and same here. Not even do epic things, but just see the sights, see the thing, Mount Rushmore, see the things in real life, and be like, oh, that's what that looks like. Cool. Check. Move on. On to the next, to the next one. place. Yeah, I think, it'd be, I think it'd be a blast. Oh man, guys, I'm cold. My nose is running and my fingers are cold. Five acres in a creek that runs all year. Evelyn, I do wish, that's one thing I wish we had was, was uh, moving water or, you know, I love Chad's, thanks Patty. I love Chad's pond out there. Washer dryer and pump house. We uh, talked about that. Yeah, the problem is the septic's up here. So to drain it, I'd have to come up with another solution down there. And by that time, if I'm putting all that time in, I could put a washer and dryer up here by the septic, but again, Grandpa says, oh, no, you have animals now. You're not going anywhere. Oh, that's right. No, that's not true. Grandpa said he'd come watch them anytime. We need a tell-all book, Grandma. Absolutely bestseller. Oh, you won't watch us anymore if you have the tell-all book, especially if you get Mom's <laughs> version. See, Mom remembers it for how it actually happened. Chad and Dad and Matt and Ryan and I, and we embellished over the years, and these stories have turned into... But it's uh, how they remember it happening. Oh, yeah. Because they've embellished so like much. Like Red Lobster, man. That was a shot heard around the city. Teresa, Bad. I am. It's, it's <laughs> That weight's going up. Don't worry. <laughs> we know a pond guy. That's true, Chad. Couldn't even tell you some of the things these guys have done. Yeah, no, and I, I, I'm not sure they are ready for it. They've only known us for about a year now. Gabe's mom! Thank you. I like the people that are saying don't change the name. Yeah, me too. That's one less thing we got. That's good because we're not going to. Oh. <laughs> there you have it. She said it like that. Hey, there, I don't argue with that. That <laughs> voice says. Decision made. Yep. Yeah. Come on, bud. Okay, Herc. What do you think? 
He mm. licked my nose earlier. Yeah, he dripped on my leg just now. <laughs> hey, we could drain, could we drain the water straight out into the yard since it's just gray water? What's your answer? He says, is my ground gonna taste like soap? You like, you like all things. But you probably don't like soap. Oh man, we can't tell the Red Lobster story. <laughs> oh no. Uh, we cannot tell the Red Lobster story. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Cindy, bless your heart. Don't know how you do that. Ooh, favorite food. Chicken tenders. <laughs> Is that an option? I don't like fried food anymore. It's my taste buds changed. And so for it's me, it's more me. like grilled chicken. Like we make a teriyaki chicken, grilled teriyaki chicken and pineapple. I make homemade teriyaki sauce. Yeah. That's like the cat's meow right there. That's good it's stuff. It's delicious. Fresh food. It's, it's all about fresh food, which is why I want a garden so <laughs> that I can cook name. my own food. I want you to have a garden. So I can cook my own food. So I can eat my own grown stuff, I guess is what I meant yeah. to say. Hey, well, here's what I'm going to do, which is not like me. I'm, I'm actually I'm proud of you. But I say, we, I say we let these poor people go. Okay. Okay, to wrap this up. Bye. No, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, man, guys, here, here's the, let's, let's 30,000 foot view it for a second. We are so, so thankful for you all coming out, chatting with us. You know, coming having, along this journey with us. Yeah, I, it still seems a little surreal. It's a bit of a dream. And, and of course, Chad yeah. and Dad's channel, you guys leading the way and being in here with us tonight. Ray coming out, Ryan. I will put that teriyaki recipe out there soon. I'll, I'll make a reel or something for it. Sell it. Who's asking for it? Everybody. I'm just kidding. It is really good. <laughs> But sorry, uh, I didn't mean to interrupt. I just gotta. You're good. No, we. I. I just. Our life is wonderful. Uh, this is the biggest thing we've. We've. I. I'm. I have no words, which, as you know, is is hard to do. But that is hard for you to 1700 do. 1,700 people in here. You guys are the best. We love Thank you so you much. Thank you so much. There will be a regularly produced video tomorrow. Yeah. It should be different than this. We'll probably get on and talk about that after this, and then it'll be. In <laughs> Who knows? I don't know what we're gonna do. But. Thank you all so much. We love you all so very much and we appreciate your support, encouragement, engagement, questions. Man, I can go on forever whenever she doesn't have the camera. Okay, oh no, here I she comes. I have to say real quick, here you don't comes. really know how long the outro is that Kyle does because I have to edit it every single time. It's like 15 minutes long. Oh, speaking of embellishment, <laughs> it's at least 30 minutes. I don't even know. Oh, okay, okay, I might have embellished a little bit. Okay. God bless. You guys are the best. There's music playing in the background. Just imagine it. It's a mixture between Adler's and Grandpa Adler. There it is. Oh, it's beautiful. A little bit of blues, rock, yeah. you know. Now when I say goodbye, we still got to stand up and walk all the way over there to the camera and hit stop. <laughs> <laughs> you don't okay. see anything. Hey, seriously. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. You're the best. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. We love you all.